How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to take on Bob's 27. Now the title of this video is how will a professional player get on at Bob's 27. As you may know or if you're new around here I'm myself I'm PDC professional dart player the primetime player the 170 finishing Gary Anderson beating Matthew Edgar and I'll be taking on Bob's 27. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three laps of this game and then this game I think is good, but it's also got a couple of flaws which might come out within the footage and we'll certainly chat about it at the end. Now I'm not going to edit this footage at all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together, I'm going to speed it up a little bit because obviously no one wants to watch it in real time, so I'm going to put it onto faster pace so you can see every single shot along the way, see how I get on, see what I score. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've had a look at the footage. We've had a go, but three laps in total. Here are the scores. Lap one, I scored 295 points in 21 hits. So with 21 targets to go out, 33%. I'm happy with that. That's not a bad percentage. Round two, I did improve by one hit. So I got one extra hit, but look at the difference in the scores. 443 against 295 for one extra hit. Lap three, I actually hit an extra one. 23 hits, my best round, but 327. So a lower score on the, on the actual second lap by 120 points nearly, despite the fact I hit more targets. That for me is the flaw within this game. Now, the game's great if you're... Uh, sort of a beginner player or you're looking at trying to stay alive and like you know throwing at the ball or throwing at 20s and 19s could determine whether you bust your score when you go down to zero or if you're on that lower end score but if you're playing at a higher end or higher end should i say higher end higher end of um, the sort of spectrum or higher end on the journey and you're scoring good scores i think it's an inaccurate game because i could look at this game and go right lap two i played really well but Lap 3 was okay, lap 1 was a bit of a warm within. But actually, if you look at the amount of hits I did, I'm roughly about the same anyway. There's two hits within that. But the point variable is so different. Lap, uh, where is it here? Lap 3, I actually hit 12 out of my first 10 targets. So I hit 12 shots in the first 10. Lap 2, I only hit 7. So the second 10 was a lot better, which is why the score's a lot more. So if you want to know roughly where you are in terms of your your doubles and if you want a game that works on the amount of hits you're doing and percentages of what you're doing i'll give you that game in about a couple of days time this is the game i've mentioned before that me and kevin play on the doubles for this reason it does give you a little bit of an accurate now i'm not saying this is a bad game it's very useful and certainly like i say if you're trying to keep yourself above that threshold above the zero and work your way around can be a very useful game for that but i just think when you're sort of looking at um, a little bit more performance to elite type training it does have a couple of flaws in there as highlighted by these scores here but if you want to know roughly what i'm throwing at bob's 27 it's anywhere from around there to there really um depends really if you hit the later doubles the middle doubles or what really you know that, that's the, the the downside or the flaw of that system but that that's the scores guys that's uh, the thing if you do want to know uh, a different variation to this game which I, I personally do myself hit subscribe button if you're already subscribed just wait because it's coming soon when i catch you for some more edgar tv